right boys and girls today we're going to be unboxing the Flytech mini racing drone T18 but I took it out of the box already <laughs> okay so I wouldn't have to do that here uh, here's the quadcopter right here it has a nice feel to it it's the body on it is very um, good quality plastic it's not like some real cheap junky thing uh, there's the camera in the front right there it's a 720p uh, it has prop guards on it and they're not removable so if you don't want them you're gonna have to get a nail clipper or a wire cutter and chop them off um, it has this little switch over here on the side Let's see if we can get it up there for you to see right there see that little switch right there right there that turns the camera off so if you want to save a little bit of battery um, you would just turn the camera off it disables the camera so that it would give you a little bit more um, battery life and it also has a removable body panel you just squeeze it like that and it pops off just like that because they give you two of them they give you a yellow one and a green one right there so you know if you were with your friend and he had one and so you guys could know what uh, who had what you know who was using what one it would sh uh, slow down the confusion <laughs> Confucius say get different color quad <laughs> There's the yellow one and then the battery Just slips right in there like that Okay, that's how that rolls Then it slides right out. It's a And here's the charger that comes with it. There's not a lot in, a lot in the box. It's the quad, the charger, and the battery, and the manual. And then they give you uh, a pack of spare props, which are right here. Now, to get <clears throat> to record the video and everything, you have to get the app going because it's Wi-Fi. You know, it's 720p Wi-Fi. So. <clears throat> you would just fire up the app and here's the transmitter and has the phone holder built into it most likely I'll probably fly this thing to do the flight review on it I'll use the video but more than likely anytime I fly it after that if I'm just flying it for me I won't use the video I'll just fly it around if it's a good flyer if it sucks then you know, I'll fly it for the review and then I'll probably never fly it again but if it flies decently, I'll I'll fly it, you know, in the house or out in the yard or whatever. And but I won't record video, you know. I won't make videos. I'll just do it for my own personal pleasure. Um, yeah, the transmitter it's pretty simple. This button over here is the rate. This button here is for the photo and the video. You hold it down to take the video. You just tap it to, for the photograph. Here's all your trims, and then this button up here is the headless mode button, okay? And other than that, that's it. Then, you know, it has the calibration where you go down and like that to the left. So, that's the calibration, and then the lights will flash, you know how they do. You know, it's not hard stuff. They're all basically the same. Almost all quads, either down and to the left or down and to the right for the calibration. Almost all of them. There's a couple of them that, well, the Sky Viper ones, you know, you just have to turn them on on a level surface. They auto calibrate the gyro. And then there's uh, one of the Pro Marks, the Warrior, um, that has a button on the controller. You know, you just hit the button and it calibrates. The. The Promark GPS one, you have to go up and out. So they wanted to be a little different. Yeah. A little more cutting edge. Alright guys, that's about it.
yeah it has a nice uh it has a nice feel to the body i will say that it has a, it's solid it's not like you're gonna think that this thing is real cheap but it has a very nice feel to the plastic and it's not real super light like you would think it has a little meat to it there's meat in there okay <laughs> they piled some meat there's a meat on these bones all right guys that's it the Flytech t18 and uh, oh yeah one more thing about the app it's the same app as the um, that t11 thing that I reviewed the other day that I test flew the other day it uses the same app and it's laid out the same way you know uh, they only have one app it's Flytech it's for I guess all of their quadcopters they, they all use the same app you need to find it just either use the QR code which is on the back of the manual or just go into the Play Store or the App Store and just type in Flytech and it'll be the first thing that comes up so it's real easy stuff and you can fly uh, this with the phone too but I uh, wouldn't recommend it if they're giving you the controller so use it okay that's what it's for all right guys have a nice day